Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and all. Hey, boy. And last. All right, Empire. Y'all already know, if you're a family member, which means you're already subscribed, just go yeah. ahead and do what y'all do. Hey. Um, If you're not a family member, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because it's free 99. It will go up next week. And go ahead and hit the um, like button. Mm -hmm. Up or down, doesn't matter. Just matters that you're here. And the bell to let you know when another one is coming through. Yes, indeed. Look. Have y'all ever had a moment where you knew you had to do something, but then up until the time you had to do it, you, you forgot? Mm -hmm. We forgot we had to do this goddamn recap until 8 o'clock. We were like, oh, skit. Oh, oh we got to, yeah. We got to. Say, we cooking dinner at CM30. Yeah, on the computer, booking <laughs> flights and skit. I said, God darn, Lulu coming up on me real quick. But anywho, it's all good, though. Didn't too much happen because y'all know we coming up on season finale, so y'all know how it go. They pace everything, yeah, and then they'll hit you with a one-two punch. Do the bill so we Look, can get the cliffhanger. Unless you're Tyler Perry, you just don't give a skit. But anyway, yeah. So on this episode, it was called Fair Terms. We gon' we gonna be all over the place, but we are gonna bring it to you, and y'all know how we do. We gonna do it our way, of course. Yeah. So y'all know we they killed Shine last week. Well, this week, we got Thursday and his boys taking care of the body. I said, okay, Thursday got some, um, he got some subcontractors working for him. And they don't seem to be too pleased with the arrangement that Lucius had with them. They must be thinking that they're going to get certain, some, some other kind of treatment or certain other privileges by working with Lucius. But Thursday said, listen, there ain't no 401k plan in our gangsta link. Yeah. So, yeah. and you remember I got your sister into that rehab, so. Yeah, and you uh, alive, I'm alive, we good. Yeah, we good. So let it do what it do. <laughs> and they plan on spreading Shine's body all, all over the city. That's actually a genius plan, though. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> it is. That's going to be a freaking FBI, whoever, CIA, whoever worked the case. That's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> say, make sure you put his head in Central Park. He would like that. That's messed up. <laughs> so, we go over there to where Lucius and um, Thursday, they basically having a little committee meeting about what just happened, how they're satisfied with how things turned out, and Andre pops through. Andre lets them know, hey, I know that y'all might be celebrating something here, but let me go ahead and tell you what I walked up on. Yeah. Anika has Eddie and Tiana and the rest of the board under her thumb. They're planning on... Um, talking to the board into not accepting Eddie's resignation. So whatever we need to do, we need to we need to do it now. And buck up, buck up, Bart. So this is when Andre said, you know what, but I think we're going to be straight. With this and this and this person in position and with the backing of Shine, we going to be okay. All right, but there's a problem. Yeah. They killed Shine and you he ain't can't. even know. He's not available right now. <laughs> Lucia said, um, about that. Um, Andre, <laughs> I know you have a brilliant mind and everything, and you think you took care of it, but I sent him on a permanent vacation. vacation. And uh, so, what I'm going to need to do is, and I said, okay, what you going to do, Lulu? Long story short, they were, <laughs> Lulu's so disrespectful. Y'all know that they never gave Rhonda nothing. No memorial, no nothing. Not nail. But here comes Shine. And now they planning his memorial service. And he don't told Cookie. Cookie look good with that 613. Told Cookie, look, you need to make nice with Shine's baby mama slash wife. The one that, yeah. that's his ride or die. Because Yo, we need that vote. She's going to have to sit in his chair. So go ahead and make nice with her at the memorial service. So we can go ahead and finesse this thing real quick and with like. Well, at the memorial service, of course, you have Nessa, which I was like, okay, where did she come from? Thank you. But she popped on up. She was singing too, boy. She was singing. And we see Tiffany. Tiffany is over there having a whole moment. But I said, how y'all how y'all do? Well, she is the wife. They had her sitting on the pedestal. Well, not the pedestal. On the platform with um, Lucius, Lucius and Cookie. 
And the rest of the baby mamas oh, was, was lined stand, up. Yeah, they were just standing over there in the cut. Like real side pieces. <laughs> yeah. Said, God. Well, like, y'all at least can split this up where it don't look obvious, man, that he had all y'all. Oh. Come on now. Oh, do like One of y'all go over there, uh -uh. one of y'all stand over there, and one of y'all stand in the back. No, do like they do at the funerals. Pull them folding chairs out and line them up behind you. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do. But they didn't do that. So baby mamas is over there and they 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 looking real bitter and did, whatnot. Is Sean having a life insurance? I hope he had life for sure. If he don't, he gonna have a go for, go from me on Facebook, well, Instagram, all that to pay for that fume. Well, did you notice that it was a memorial service? Yeah, <laughs> let me stop. Them, yeah, Cause, cause Thursday yeah, got, you don't, yeah, you don't really pay for them. They don't need um, they don't need a funeral home. Thursday got the body. Yeah. So we forgot all about that part. So yeah, they they asked the cost out right there. Yep. And then then it was at Leviticus. Pay, pay it in full. And they can write that off on their taxes. Yep. That was an event. Yeah. <laughs> Memorial <sorry>. event. <laughs> so, time to find out, long story short, Miss Tiffany don't want to um, sit on this board. Oh, my mama. She said, no, business was never my thing. Mm -hmm. And you know that Sean always took care of all of us. I mean, every last one of us. But it would be his wish that Nessa would be able to sit in his chair and make oh, the decisions well. oh, in his place. Hell. But that's going to be a problem. Because Lucius, Cookie, and Nessa don't get along. No, hey, mama Cookie slapped the skin out of her. So Nessa would do something just on spite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To go against the grain. And they already know that. So now they're trying to figure out how in the hell are we going to get Nessa to manipulate do what we her need to do. To do. What they do. Yeah, manipulate her. But here come Eddie. Before Tiffany could even grieve good, Eddie comes in. Oh, my God. My condolences to you and the rest of the ladies and your children in a time like this. This is a time where the Empire family comes together and we can dip our hand into the pot to be able to make sure that you and your children are comfortable. And, that, and Lucius, like, hold on, this, wait a minute. We're going to dip into this emergency fund. Like, what emergency fund is we talking about? That you, money you trying to steal. Yeah. I was like, okay. So Lucius was like, you know what, Eddie? Basically, go and sit down somewhere because I'm still Lucius Lion. I'm the one that's going to be right I'm running making, this joint. Making all these guys doing decisions. So we thought. Do we want to fast forward to this? Yeah, keep it rolling. Okay. So what is it called? Empire what? 20 for 20. But it's called something else. Oh, House of Empire. House House Empire. Yeah. Is it House of it or House Empire? House Empire. Yeah. Don't matter. It don't matter. It's just Empire. So y'all know that they want to do this whole event around House Empire. And the way that they were going to get Nessa back into the fold was they promised her Jamal's spot. Like all hell. And I said, is anybody going to tell Jamal that he ain't going to be performing, that it's going to be Nessa? They yeah, because he was real spot. happy at the event. He was like, man, yeah. this is nice. Like, yeah. It's nice, but you ain't going to be singing no player. Yeah, so they offered her the spot and two, was it two albums? Two, or two albums. Or two singles. Something two, two albums and a sign-on bonus. They didn't say the amount, though. Uh-uh. I said, oh, okay. But y'all, um, not trying to be funny because I just got off pregnant on my God doing self. So I know that it gives you a certain look. Why was Nessa looking like that? Yeah, she didn't look right. She didn't look normal. Yeah. It looked like maybe she had just had a bout of prednisone or something. I said between her look and Lucia Sam, because Lucia was over there, I am. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'm mad. <laughs> like he was break on his ass and pump. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Lucia, Lucia, breathe in, go. <laughs> <laughs> but when he calls a whole bunch of skit, he'll be breathing like that. He be breathing fine when he be doing some skit. I call it the asthma, asthma syndrome. <laughs> Have y'all ain't never heard me say that? Yeah. But the asthma syndrome is for people that are asthmatic, and I'm not making fun of y'all because Stanley's mama, mama is asthmatic, and, and my bro brother, and his brother is real asthmatic. And this is the reason that I call it the asthma syndrome because let it be something that they don't want to do. All of a sudden, they can't do it because of their asthma. They can't breathe. But let it be something they ain't supposed to be doing. Yep. I ain't gonna say what they do. That don't bother your asthma though. So I call it the asthma syndrome. Whenever it is something that you don't want to do, then all of a sudden your asthma kicks in. Yeah, you can smoke cigarettes, smoke cigars, going to the bar, all that stuff, and you just fine. 
but let you set a, a, a styrofoam plate on fire and you can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> We're not making fun of people with asthma. Hell we just, no, that's but, so but, serious. But maybe you might got the answer for us that. How I don't that need works. an answer. I know what the answer is. It's convenience. <laughs> I don't need an answer. So if I want to do something, I can shut it down. That's just like people that be having me bucked up feet. Like, I, for instance, last week, my foot was bucked up. That's why I was on that pregnant zone. I had instances where I could have did skit, but sometimes I didn't want to do it. And all of a sudden, my foot was on 20. So what you saying is so they I will exaggerate it because I don't wanna do it. So you saying they don't they say for they don't wanna be at the family gathering, right? So what they'll do is, is they'll go to the gathering, but they'll set a plate on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> go. I can't be out there that cookout. Get in the car and be like, I got them dog, I got them, I got them. <laughs> I can't be at that cookout, man. Them grills, man. Yeah. Just something about the bottom of my breathing. <laughs> but they lighting the grill up their house every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta move past that. Yeah, out uh, the rabbit hole. Uh, bro, like Jay said, but back. So, what else happened? Oh, that guy doing Andre. Andre, the went and told uh, Pastor Lucian, listen. Whenever I see a Nico. There's a hatred that rolls all over my body yeah. in a way that I know that's going to consume me. And Pastor Lucian said, well, what you're going to have to do is you're going to just have to forgive her. He said, she don't deserve that. I agree. She don't deserve to be forgiven right now. She don't kill your wife mm. and your goddamn baby. Yep. Now oh. she's trying to steal a company from you that you done built. Well, help build. Well, no, build. Because, yeah. But ain't it crazy though that that's Andre's wife in real life? Yeah. So he's sleeping with her in real life, but on the show, she don't slept with your daddy and your brother. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> that's a whole lot. Yep. <laughs> Even if it ain't really real. But, but the bad ain't. part about it is probably some people that live like that in real life too, Mom. I know. Oh, you did? <laughs> don't call no names out. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna have the asthma syndrome. But anyway, um, Cookie. Y'all know last week she went to go visit her mama. Well, she went to see her. And they're trying to connect, but it really ain't connecting. Yeah. Um, They got a lot of work to do. A whole lot of work to do. But one thing that I did <clears throat> like was that Cookie was able to look around her mom's house and see some pictures of her and her sisters. But she knew that her mama was not there. So, so how, how the hell world, did you get these pictures? Well, her mama said, well, when I... I have been there before, too, man. <laughs> God darn. I go to somebody's house and look on that little stand, they got pictures, and be like, That's me! <laughs> what the hell did you get that from? Then they start this long explanation, be like, like you gonna remember. <laughs> I think I think they were stalking me, man. When Who I was, was kid, you for somebody to stalk you? When I was in in, in primary school, man. But who were you? They were taking pictures of me from afar. <laughs> Man, you need to stop. <laughs> well, that's what Cookie Mama was doing. When she wasn't allowed to be in her kid's life, she was taking pictures from afar, and basically that was her way of staying connected to her girls. That was a good idea. So though. that was... That was a good idea. Yeah, I like it was that. a good idea. That was effort, man. That was but effort. Cookie still has it in her mind that her mama left them. Mm -hmm. The sisters have been trying to tell Cookie that's not how it really went. So they ended up having this dinner together. So they're actually trying to compare stories, compare experiences. Well, come to find out that the sisters actually have been having a real live relationship with the mama up to the point where they was they going to see her and exhibits and, and different stuff. And stuff. Yeah, so Cookie was like, hold on, wait a minute. So where was I when all of this was going on? And Cookie Mama had to tell her straight up. You told me to get yeah. gone. You didn't want me in, my, in your life. Though. And that's what I did. So you can't be mad at me for the hole that you have in your heart when you were the one who <clears> told <throat> me to go on somewhere. Yeah. And live your life. So she said, yeah, that's what I did. I don't completely agree with that because I believe as a mom, you still should try because you know that that came from a hurtful place. But at the same time, Mama was like, bucket, I'm going to travel. I'm going to take me some pictures. I'm going to look at y'all from afar when i come back in town and mm -hmm. i'm just gonna do me and when you come back around i'll be here 
to see if we can put these daggone chips back together. But I don't, I don't really know how you feel about that. Yeah, I, I, I do like this about her mama. That her mama told her, be like, it's gonna take a while to fix this because we got a lot of years that we have to, not necessarily make up, but I need to get to the point where I get to know you. And that's what I want to start from this point. But you know to some people when that happens, they want you to pick up as if they were never gone. You can't do that. Or they deny your experience. Yeah, yeah, it really wasn't that way. I didn't really leave you, you know, was it? Yes, you did. Yeah, you did. So even in situations, even though her dad wouldn't let her in the light, you still, it's still a form of being left. Because, and probably Cookie's mind's probably like, hey, you could have probably did something more than what you did. You kind of copped out and said that he, you know, he wouldn't let me buy you, but you could have called the cops. You could have went to the system, but that that's, neither, that's, that's neither here or there. But uh, yeah, oh. I do I do like that she did say it's going to take some time to repair that relationship. Yeah, so they, they still, yeah, like you said, they got a whole lot of work to do. Mm -hmm. So she invited her mama to come to the House of Empire, House Empire, whatever the hell it's called, um, to experience who she is yeah. as a woman now. You know, to get a better idea of, okay, this is what I like. This is what I don't like. This is my creative juices. You know, get to see me for who I am. Get to see me as Cookie and not what, not Lolo. But she calls her Lolo. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking of Andre, Andre had a whole moment at that memorial service. And I was here for it. <laughs> Andre was having a breakdown because, one, he probably feels guilty that he got Shine killed. Yep. For one. He thought he fixed it. And then, too, he's sitting here watching everybody be so supportive, fake supportive, <laughs> of Sean and his family, mm -hmm. speaking these very nice and kind words towards him, and how, you know, he pulled this rapper from the, you know, he... You know, he developed him and did this, polished him up. Now that's our new and upcoming artist. But y'all ain't did skip for his wife. Yeah. And y'all weren't supportive of him. Like, literally, when that man's wife died, he had no one. He went back home and had a breakdown. Yep. Said, matter of fact, uh, uh, Hakeem and, and uh, Jamal had to sing to him in the elevator. God don't. <laughs> Lean on me. <laughs> when you ain't strong. <laughs> and Andre even had to, um... He had to apologize to Nessa. He told Nessa, well, you know that was a manipulation thing right there. Oh, yeah. He tried to get her on the good side before this all happened. Uh, what else happened? Da, 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 da. That's worth talking about. Oh, Lord. Hakeem. Hakeem got an invitation to go on this set. And to fill in for somebody that I believe the guy walked I off. think he walked off the set. Because that guy was an a-hole. The director was... Calling him, what was he calling? Hickam, Hickam, Hickam Lion, Hickam Lion, be more gangster, be more Walk black. Like this, yeah, you know, hold your gun like this and not be like, like this. Be like Snoop Dogg. And so how what? can you say the black person that's in your head it's only not, exists? Yeah, we not like head. that. That is the stereotypical black man that they put on TV. Exactly. And that's what y'all are walking around here afraid of. Yeah. It ain't and that real. ain't that's not real. That's that's a small portion of us. Very much. Very small portion. And what they say the um the squeaky wheel gets the oil. Yep. That's basically how it is. These stereotypical people that you're afraid of are the ones that now you want every black guy to yeah. act like. And so. Hakeem, basically he quit. He was like, I'm done. I would have been it. quit. Yeah, I would have quit. Yeah. He stood up to the guy, but then he got, you know, noticed by the girl that wasn't paying him no attention. Yeah. At she, first. Yeah, she had like a winch when they first met. You better put no tongue down my mouth, and you better keep your hands in the PG zone. <laughs> Do what? That's what she said. <laughs> she did say that. So now that he stood up to the um director, now she, now her now she want to pull aside. Now she want to pull her panties to the side. So much so that she came to the guy doing event. I think it was a setup. I do too because when she showed up, Tiana was performing, and it knocked Tiana off of her rockers. Yep. I mean, she and then they then she proceeds to kiss Hakeem, and that really threw it off. She fell up against that wall. And somebody in the audience said, "Don't worry about it, girl. Show, Show them what you're working with." I said, "So y'all don't do that. Like don't that. don't don't try to throw her off." I'm thinking that it's some kind of beef between them girls or this girl is trying to make Tiana jealous because how do you go from you can't stand him on the set 
to, to, to I now. appreciate you standing up to the director to now I'm here with you and we kissing in front of which you already spoke that. Oh, that's your ex That's your right. Yeah, how you know that? Yeah, got my eye on that situation. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna, we're watching you. Yeah. What her name was? I don't remember what the hell her name is. Star honest. Wars. Yeah, she's from Star Wars, but I don't remember her name. I'm too tired to care. Yeah, yeah it don't even name. matter. It don't even matter, as my people say. So what else happened? Um, over there at this guy throwing event, everything was going everything well. Everything going good. Had the hologram. Had lions that won't dare. That was scaring the hell out of me and yeah. Cookie Mama. Cookie, no, oh yeah, that was tight though. Yeah, it was tight. Um, Cookie introduced her mama to the grandbabies. I was, I had actually forgot that she had never met the freaking yep. boys. Hakeem was like, she heard Hakeem was like. But ain't that how people, when you go to like your family and you got the old heads that come in from out of town and you don't be knowing these people, I've been knowing you since you were knee high to a grasshopper. Come on over here and they suffocating you all up in you their boots and stuff. Breathe. Some of the women used to do that to me in church too. That's because they were trying to get fresh with you. Man, they got them titties there choking me. <laughs> praise, the, praise the Lord. They got them seals and robux um bras on that they titties sit straight out like this. Uh huh. You try you trying to get them a nice little nice little church hug. Uh, and then, uh, they, and they, and they, <laughs> I can't breathe. You, your titties is suffocating me. And says your hard wig is digging in my neck. <laughs> said, get off of me. So, the event was going off without a hitch until they had this projector going by with all these pictures on it and different slides and stuff. And all of a sudden, we get to a slide of Blake throwing up the Nazi symbol, the Nazi um, hand gesture. And all of a sudden, everything went to a screeching hole. Yep. Everything that they had worked for and that they were accomplishing by doing this and impressing the board just went straight out, out the, the window. window. Now the board is like, how in the hell did y'all yeah. miss this? That this guy is a racist and this, that, and the third. And Blake is on the sideline saying, I took that picture when I was 10 years old. Yeah. I did it because basically... Well, my father made me do it, so I didn't shut him up. Yeah, I took the picture and I... Hadn't seen him anymore for the rest of my life, basically. I mean, that happens. It really does happen. But that's how stupid the board is. You ought to know that somebody fooled around with the goddamn projector and put that booze kit in there. You know they ain't put that in there. At all. Why? But you know what it did? May Eddie come to the rescue. Now, Eddie talking about something. He can fix this and this, that, and the third. And Lucius told the board, said, listen, what we're going to do is we're going to pull Blake. And we're going to go ahead and sort it out with him. And the rest of the artists are going to be good. It's going to be all right. Here comes Tiana. No, we're not. I'm not performing anymore. I'm sick of this. And the artists have united. We're not going to perform. Lucia said, hold on, you little ungrateful. <laughs> okay. Big hit it. <laughs> he said, uh, uh what you're not going to do is sit up in here like you running stuff. Now, here come Eddie. Eddie done took the goddamn platform and basically done made this announcement that Empire has cut all of their ties with Blake. He's no longer on Empire Extreme. Don't worry. And thank you to the board for giving me the, the power, power to make this kind of decision. Lucius came up behind that joker. And when Eddie turned around, all I saw was... He jacked him up. He just yanked him up. And I said, don't, don't, don't trade places with what I've been through. Don't trade places with what I've been through. <laughs> and that was basically it. So I think Lucius, uh, Eddie is going to be the next uh, victim like Sean was in the hangar, shot up, and body parts all around the city. I was sitting there saying, well, the guy doing the shit y'all had really just did, Eddie. Like Sean said, Sean yeah. said, there's some people you pay and some people you kill. Yep. Maybe you got it wrong. God Maybe you should have. Kept shine and pay him and kill Eddie. Yeah. Because Eddie even said it in like a couple of episodes ago. He was like, you can't beat me because I created you. I made you the monster that you are. So yep. you ain't never going to be able to outsmart me. True. Or to outcrazy me. <laughs> and now I believe him. Yeah. Like my answer. So when someone shows you who they are. See, Eddie like Jason. So every believe time you him. think he did, that sucker come back alive. Well, one of, his eyes, one of his eyes do. 
<laughs> on that note, straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty. I'm trying south. to see how long I hold my eye like that. <laughs> Chew up. <laughs> Holla.